Um, I, I don't know if I'm recording this for me or if I want to share it. I mean, in my head, I think I want to keep this kind of information to myself and that's my plan as of right now. Um, but I'm sitting here in the lunch room. I say lunch room, but it's really the mother's lounge. Um, because our mother's lounges here are super awesome and very secluded. It's just a little room with a little table and a chair, a comfy chair. Um, and I come in here to eat lunch and do my stretches because it's secluded and nobody's going to watch me do my weird back stretches because I have a bad back. Um, I think I'm going to record myself at least once a week in here so I can look back on it. Um about what I'm doing and what my decisions are on this process. Um, the process being that I think I am gonna go ahead and do bariatric duodenal switch surgery. Um, I have struggled with weight since I was 12 and my body just started to gain a lot of weight when I started having periods um, because I have PCOS and I have quite a heavy case of it and it's messed with of course my thyroid and it's is part of why I'm insulin intolerant um, and my insulin intolerance just really messes with your, my body and I have to take a whole ton of metformin and um, I just, I keep getting weight unless I have the opportunity to work all, not work, but work out all day. Um, it's so like when I served a mission, I was out walking or riding a bike all day everywhere and it was great and I was able to lose weight because that was, my job was to be moving around and doing and going out and seeing. And now I have a lovely job, which I love, but I sit all day. And I sit and I sit and I sit and I do have a standing desk now and during lunches I do go walk around the track now that I'm at a new building and I come in here and I jog in place in the winter and I do my stretches but I just it, it doesn't help and I eat things like a cup of yogurt for lunch and I've been doing keto for the last few weeks and I started losing weight, but I started gaining weight again, and my body just tends to get used to what I'm eating and doesn't let me lose weight, which is really hard. And I have been seeing a dietitian, and I asked her about what I can do because I've I had to have two kidneys, well not two kidney stones removed, but one giant kidney stone removed and two different surgeries. And those two different surgeries have caused me to meet my out of pocket. And I told her, I've met my out of pocket. Is there any medicines or anything I can do right now to really kickstart this weight loss and get me to where I can start losing weight healthier and easier on my own? And she said, you should have weight loss surgery. And I've never liked that idea I've always really hated the idea of weight loss surgery because I feel like it's kind of the easy way out and I felt like it was the easy way out and I felt like it wasn't a real thing because I see all these people who've had it and after a couple years they gain all the weight back and then some and you can't have it again like that's it and yes they lose a ton of weight at first but it's not permanent because it's not a lifestyle change it's a it's a minute change. After doing a lot of research, um, really, really looking into it, watching all the doctor's videos that they require and um, watching a lot of videos and reading a lot of articles and talking to friends that have had it, I see that there are some that make a bigger difference, once again, if you're able to make a lifestyle change. Um, and I've been on the fence and I think, ooh, I, I think I wanna do it. And then I tell myself, no, that's not for me because I, 
I asked my husband to go for a walk and he doesn't want to and I'm not motivated enough to do it myself. And we have a gym membership, but we haven't really used it much in the last few months. Granted, it's in the middle of all this COVID-19, but we still haven't used it the way we should. And today I'm telling myself, I gotta, I gotta prove to myself that I can, because I wanna do this and I wanna be healthy and I wanna have kids. And so today on the scale, I weighed 261. And that's obviously awful for a person who is five nothing. And I've always had very, everything about me is smaller. My bones are smaller. My intestines and my everything about me is smaller. When they took out my gallbladder, they talked about how it was much smaller. And it, um, <laughs> it it's all just small. So for a person, who's five nothing, who has very small bones, very small insides, 261 is the equivalent of, well, a lot more than that. Um, I have a bad back and I know a lot of that is because of the weight. Because once again, I'm, I'm too heavy for these small bones to handle it. And my knees are getting bad and my feet hurt at night and I don't walk a lot so because I'm sitting at work and it shouldn't hurt because I'm not doing enough for it to hurt. Um, other than when I walk around the track at work or run in place here <laughs> in the break room. And I, I decided I wanted to do it while I was watching YouTube videos about people's decisions and, and the different things they did to get ready for it, the things they wish they knew before they had the duodenal switch done or DS um, and they um, provide a lot of insight. I've watched a lot of afters, um, what people found were hard and what they have to do to stick to it. Um, and there's a community out there to do it. And if I, if I ever decide to share this, it would be because I want to be part of that community helping others decide if they want to do this or not. So today, I um, I weigh 261. I'm five nothing. I am not a skinny girl. Um, but I want to make a change in my life. I mean, I have been trying really hard to make that change on my own and it's not working. And I try with my dietitians to make those changes. And like I said, I, I lose some weight and then my body gets used to it. So it's, it's time to do something bigger. And MJ, you gotta stick to it. You gotta make those choices to do it right and to do it without Trent if he doesn't have the energy to do it as well. So, uh, or really, really convince him to go because once he's going, he's good. <laughs> uh, I'm very lucky to have Trent, don't get me wrong. Um, Trent's literally the best person I know and he supports me no matter what I choose. He just, when he'd rather sit and play his video game or watch his show, that's what he wants to do. So, um, once a week, I'm gonna try to make these videos while I'm headed up to it. I don't have a date. I've only started talking to the doctors about it, the actual bar bariatric surgery doctors. I've been working with my dietitian for a while. Um, and insurance is actually the ones who makes all the requirements and they require a few things that I need to do before I can do um, to before I can actually start talking to the bariatric doctors and so I'm in that process kind of because I haven't told my doctor I've actually made the choice yet um, and in the middle of COVID-19 it may not happen this year which means I will lose the opportunity to have most of it covered because I've met my out-of-pocket so we'll see 
but I made a choice and here we go.